welcome back to my channel if you are new i am krishan if you're a returning subscriber hi y'all so today is going to be a 2024 krishan updated everyday makeup routine now i have gotten some new things and i have tried some new things didn't like some other things so i've come to the conclusion that this is going to be my 2024 everyday soft neutral if you're interested in this kind of video and you want to see me get all done up then continue watching this video so we're going to start off with the elf poreless face primer i had to get a new face primer so if y'all ever watched the videos on my last channel then y'all will see that i use the milk primer but the milk primer can be a little bit pricey but i was in the store and i saw this and i grabbed it and i was like i need a primer i'm just gonna pick this up i swear y'all look at this when i got it it was so white and i'm like oh i don't know how this is gonna be and then it ends up giving this white calves they're just not cute like Y'all probably won't be able to tell on camera, but y'all see this white cast? It's like giving me sunscreen. I literally fear it. But then I had to realize, Krishan, you put makeup on. Why are you so pressed? <laughs> you gonna have makeup on. You're not. But when I tell y'all, this feels like velvet. This primer is so inexpensive. I don't even remember how much I bought it for. It was probably in the range of the four to seven dollar range, which is inexpensive for makeup. Elf did that big one on this one. I would recommend y'all. It is so soft and so hydrating. I if this was like a skincare product. This would be one of my staples. And on the camera, it's coming off not as crazy, as harsh, or like matte as it is in the mirror. But when I tell you, this is so soft, so satisfying to the touch. It feels literally like velvet. Like my face is made of velvet now. So, love that for me. Love that for me. I'm going to go in with Mario in the shade N24. Now, Makeup of Mario has been in my staple since last year when I first tried out Makeup of Mario. I was using Fenty for a minute. And I still love Fenty, but I wanted to change because Fenty ends up giving me a like that color undertone. And I just wasn't feeling it. And then my skin tone, it was either giving me like a crazy like orange undertone or a red undertone now the red undertone was the best because i just thought it just looked the best on me but i didn't want anything so i wanted to go as like neutral as possible now she has like a new line of foundations so i might end up trying those and if i'm not mistaken it's called the soft lit foundation I really didn't have looked into it as, that much because I'm so in love with makeup by Mario that I just haven't looked into the new Fenty right here. I mean, Fenty Foundation, but I will be giving it a try sooner than later. But that's what I use with her. And maybe she has more neutral tones. I don't know. But for me, this makeup by Mario does it for me. And I always get my foundations darker than my face because my face is like literally the lightest thing on my body. So in order for me to have my whole complexion looking at least the same, then I have to get a darker shade and make myself this chocolatey drop that you see in front of you. Because to be honest, I'm like different colors all over my body. I go from light to dark now I would say you kind of like have to 
especially if you want to go full glam apply the makeup on mario because it is like a surreal skin there's like a second skin and sometimes it would not it will not do your blemishes any justice <laughs> they will be your blemishes will literally peep through that foundation no it just looks like i have like ever effortless skin mind you i do have a great skincare routine that is working for me and it's been working for me for a while and yes, new things have come in and out of it, but the foundation stays the same. So for concealer, I have this Pro Lift Pro Filter Skinty Fenty Concealer. So we haven't left the the Fenty Concealer, and that is in the shade 430. So I still want to try my best to support um, Rihanna. So I did buy a couple of new things on the line. You know, I'm just highlighting what I want the bright spots to be. And I literally go for a neutral, brown, easy, natural makeup look. So I'm never going to do a too crazy concealer, brighter, because that to me just it just not for me. I love to be very close to my skin tone and very close to my natural face as possible. And I wanna still kinda look like me. So I'm just gonna blend this up with a beauty blur with my sponge. And when I do my makeup, y'all, I have sponges for like almost everything. That's how I started off and that's where it's just been staying. Now I will be giving a full glam because I do have some stuff for full glam and I love the mattifying look but I also love the liquid foundation look even though I still use liquid foundation when I do a full glam but I just love the look that it doesn't give me. I don't always want to be matte and I don't think every occasion like calls for matte for me. See how that just looks so cute. Makes me kind of so effortless. Mm, mm, mm. We're already off to a good start, y'all. Alright, so now I'm going with my eyes. And for my eyes, when I do every day, I don't like to be drastic, dramatic. I just like to, you know. Be a little subtle so I like to go in with my black eyeliner first and I'm gonna use this little mirror y'all I got this from Dollar Tree y'all isn't this the cutest thing look at that oh it needs to be to be wiped off But I just thought this was so cute. This is how it comes. It looks like this. And then you just flick this little thing down, this little area down right here. That comes down. And you can just sit it, sit it down. I guess you could like hold it like this. Or you can just sit it down on the table and it stays like that. So I'm going to be using this to do my eyes because I never show eyes on, I'm going to flip it over so I get, get the, so I can get that big look. So I just go in with two eyeliners. I always, for the most part, use two eyeliners and that's the e.l.f. No Budge retractable eyeliner in black and black noir in coffee cafe in black noir so I go in soft and only the top the top lid I don't go to the bottom lid every day
And then I go in with the coffee cafe. Kind of just to sell a little bit. Settle it down. And I think it just settles it down just a little better. Y'all see that? It just settles it. And then I just go in to the corner like this. Kind of to give me a a wing but not wing like you can see something's there but it's not really there like like a shadow so it's 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 subtle but it's still so cute so super sexy and then i like to go in with this brush and you can see that it looks black right here and that's because of mascara and eyeliner but what i like to do is i found this trick on youtube of combing your eyelashes and i know they have eyelash combs but for some reason it just gives like this very very like eye and i guess the mechanics of it was just like very eyelid round shape but I feel like I could just work with this way better and I feel like it just kind of combs it spreads it apart makes it easier for the mascara to work in for me and then I go on with the eyelash curler which I am obsessed with y'all And I just hold it for a few seconds and let it like kind of do its thing. And that just gives it a, a different curl if you can, you probably can't tell, but it just gives it a different curl, which I was like, yes, that's what I want. I want an eyelash curler. So now I'm using Fenty hella thick mascara and my technique of using mascara is just super subtle i want to be super subtle take all that access off like we don't want to do too much because this is not full glam and i find that some people rub like this but i don't like that i feel like it just clumps my eyelashes so bad I don't know I don't know if it works for everybody else I can't really tell because a lot of people wear lashes but I just like to go with the flow just very subtle And see how it just kind of gives me like a mascara, I mean an eyeliner effect at the bottom. That's why we don't do the eyeliner at the bottom. So I feel like that takes care of that. And then I use the same wig, baby hair brush to just comb my eyebrows. Because I don't like to use an eyebrow comb because I just feel like it just takes it up and not sideways like my natural eyes. But I am going to go with this, the e.l.f. Instant Lift Pro Pencil. And I got it in a dark brown. It's kind of not giving me like a black stark look. But a, a brown look. Kind of to pencil in my eyebrows. Because I really don't have any. Just to give me a little, a little something. Make it still look natural. 
but not too not too much and then I still go in with this it just takes everything it kind of still does it in the vein of my natural eye So, yeah, there you have it. A subtle enhancement. So, I do go and take a step further. I love this idea of just having an eyeshadow. Whether you choose black, I use this dark brown because I love being mocha. I love dark browns. I love shades of black people nude. That's what I call it. I just love every shade of brown dark brown to light brown because i just want to look natural and just mocha cafe just dark cafe latte look so i just take this and i just dab it and it just also adds to the subtleness of the makeup matte so the eyeliner won't look so drastic and it just like settles it down how pretty is that and it's it, it almost looks smoky and sexy so now i go in with my bronzer and this time i'm not going to do too much bronzer but we just want just enough bronzer. Because we still want definition and tone, but we don't want too much of a harshness. You feel me? So I'm gonna go down here and add it here. Just to highlight everything with two passes that's it so it kind of gave us definition a little a little definition nothing too much though all right so it gave us a little bit of definition so now we're gonna go in with our highlighter and i use fenty beauty mo honey afternoon snack the killer white line and I use the Mo Honey side almost all the time. For some reason the afternoon snack looks good better but it ends up kind of giving me a grayish look so I learned not to mess with that <laughs> and plus the Mo Honey side just makes everything lighter and I mean gives me that shimmer you got a little subtle highlight kind of do my cheeks like that you want to put in all the areas I did concealer plus my nose area get those cheekbones everything about this look subtleties it is the subtleties now if you want to keep it like this you can keep it like this if you want to put like a mist if it's like too dry and outside basically normally just for the winter time you can or just lightly mist your face to add some kind of dewiness moisture the moisture look so then i go in with my carmex because i do not like putting lip gloss on bare lipped because that just won't do carmex chastic heals the lips lip gloss don't heal not a thing so i want to go in with brush again kind of brush my stash well you girls got a mustache y'all want to enhance it 
This right here, get you right. This way I just I have to just take a little extra step. Cause she not going nowhere no time soon. Mm -mm -mm. So if you've been watching my channel and you've been watching my makeup video, then you knew I fell in love with the Fenty Beauty hot chocolate. Because yes, it goes in the same vein as that brown chocolate cafe cocoa look that I love so much. But I did want to try something new. So I ended up getting sweet mouth. But sweet mouth I just felt like was a little bit too harsh but what the look that I was trying to convey. So this is my ultimate lip combo. And it is Fenty Beauty Hot Chocolate and Sweet Mouth. So I put the sweet mouth, the hot chocolate at the bottom. Cause my lips are pink at the bottom and then my lips are dark at the top so the sweet mouth goes at the top and I just pair them just like that mm. look how pretty that turns out I still get that brown cocoa hot chocolate but like that hint of pink, that hint of pink, glossy, light pink look. So I do that for the base, and then that is it, honey. So just dab that, and this is what I do to reapply it, to not put so much lip gloss on my lip. And then the up top. It's so subtle, like sometimes you don't even notice I'm wearing makeup. You don't notice, you don't notice. It's everyday, subtle, natural looking makeup. You don't notice, do you notice? And you can see the foundation set, so it's not as dark on my face, not as makeup-y, cakey on my face, and it just, it just blends just blends so well with everything so i'm gonna take this off and do something with this head and come back and show y'all the final look all right y'all i am back and this is the final look um only thing different is i did add a little bit of more honey lip gloss because i felt like this lavender purple was just calling for the cohesion of it all so i ended up doing that but other than that this is a full everyday natural i want to say mocha black people and the final touch is because it is subtle and we're not doing too much but we don't want the elements to be shifting our makeup around so we're going to do one size until dawn setting spray we just gonna just do that because <laughs> we don't have a lot of makeup on but we still don't want it to do too much so yeah this is the final look i hope y'all enjoyed this video as much had much fun watching this video as i did making it because it turned out great Oh, and with this look, I do not use any mascara, I mean, um, any eyeshadow that is for a full glam, which this is not. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me how y'all feel about it. Any tips, tricks, sound off in the comment section. Teach the girl something. Teach me something. Tell me what you like, tell me what you want to see in the future, tell me what you do as far as y'all makeup looks. And I'm Krishan, thank y'all for watching my channel, thank y'all for the new subscribers, and thank y'all for the old subscribers watching. I am out.